sew it after the back, sew them together. I found out that actually the rubber that I have that they sold is 36, 36 by 48. It's actually a little bit bigger. It's actually 51 by 37. So I had to trim it a little bit. I got one piece full size and another piece cut a little smaller. When I glue this down, I want three inch, three inches of a border along here with the rubber being sticking in around three inches going around. All right, go ahead and spray. And again, this is just really to hold it, that outer bag down on this. You don't really want to set it up too long or whatever. And what it is, while it's even still damp to make this easy, I'm gonna put this down. It's starting to stick a little bit. What I want to do is I want approximately the three inches. And I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, but approximately just three inches all the way around. Then I'm going to attach this down. That's in the sun's going to be glued down to the canvas. So one piece, like I say, I tried, tried them down before I put the glue down to make sure it would all fit. And I come over here. And good old contact cement. And again, I mean, you can put as much as you want or whatever. This is just really, once it's sewed, it's not going to move around, but this is to keep the two pieces basically in their place. I gotta do everything by myself. Wipes out working. Alright, that ain't bad. The two pieces are together. And I got fairly. And again. Down together. Design. Contact. And again, you don't you don't have to put it on both surfaces. Just to, what this is gonna do is pull that rubber in place a little bit. And that's all we really care about. Now Again, this all works nice when it's two people, but I don't have two people. So, get the other piece of canvas that I cut. Like I say, I'm keeping black to the inside. When I come down, set it roughly on a corner, and on a corner, go out. I'm gonna get my old staple gun. And for right now, put a staple in the corner, and down here, pull this up, snug this down a little bit, keep them lined up on the edge, a staple. staple for, for right now because I'm hustling and I want to get it before it sets down up too much. Get down. Put it in. So I want to stick that like I say. If you don't let it dry it doesn't set up that much. I'm going to come down here pull this tight in the corner so the edges match up put the staple there keep coming along here staple staple
staple. Yeah. I'm a little off down here, but that's all right. Let's see if I can pull it down some. And pull it down a little bit. Staple. And like I say, this is just stapling together just to hold this together till I get that one sew around it. And just sort of, instead of like your wife would pin it, she can tell you what that means. Using that staple just to hold it in place till we sew it. Come up here, lift this up, pull this. So basically, they're the same lengths. Staple it. Staple it. Staple it. Staple it. Now, let's say, smoothing this out a little bit now. So it's attached down to it. Well, there's that contact will actually hold on and stick. Keep, it, keep in mind when you sew this all together, that'll hold that form in place, but this is just a little something extra. Alright, so you have two people, you could have stretched it nice and flat. Mine isn't that flat, but again, alright, two pieces of tarps attached, insulation in between. Put a little bit of contact cement to hold them in place. Uh, staples along the side just to hold it together temporarily. Next we're going to take the sewing machine and we're going to sew all the way around the back. Yeah, keep close to the edge, you know, close to the edge. After we do that, we're going to roll this old edge over a half inch or so, or three quarters of an inch, and we're going to sew it. And what it is is That'll give us a nice looking top edge, rather than those two thin layers there. A nice heavier edge right there, plus two it'll be stronger right there. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the zipper underneath the six foot length. One side here, the other side here. Then we're going to put the two zippers together, fold the, fold the bag in half, put the two zippers together, and then sew this section here. Let me show you show on a, uh, sewing on a sewing machine. I'll start sewing and we'll, we'll go along and I mean I don't have to have the camera out for the whole sewing, you get bored. But uh... <sighs> Alright, let's go. Alright, let's start out. Got the material all put together. Just got back from the dentist. I had some teeth cleaned, so I don't know how I'm going to sound. Let's see how this works. All right. I, I got a sort of a big working area, which is nice here that I can sit here and move this around because the hardest part is moving this around. Got my wife's Sears, old Sears uh, sewing machine. Uh, got it threaded. Thread I'm using is. Uh, it's a nylon, it's 100% nylon thread, and uh, it says uh, 137M, what it is, it's, it's actually upholstery is what uh, originally I was told, it's the heaviest thread I can get for this machine, 100% nylon, because I want it to, to hold up, uh, your wife will help you, you'll find out, so a machine, the, the stitch I use is the, wise, the biggest stitch, and the biggest stitch on this, that, that's distance between each little, is number six. So in, in an inch, I'll have six. Goes by an inch. I'll have six of these in an inch. And, uh, you know, that, that way, too close together sewing, it, it, it'll tear the fabric. So, and you don't need a real close together stitch. So, that's it. Let's begin sewing. I got it on. I got the two ends together, like I say. Let me come in, tell a photo. Uh, 
going to be sewing this. This will come up fairly up close. Like I say, I got the, the two ends. All I'm going to do here is sew as close as I can along the side here. I just want to get the sewn together so the bags, the two pieces are together in one. I'll, I'll hold it as good as I can. Sometimes it'll roll over or whatever. I'm not that fancy. All right, let's start sewing see what happens. One of the hardest parts with this is moving the bag freely because it's so big and, and rough to slide and all that. So that, that, that's going to be the hardest. There you go. Let's, let's sew. I try to keep the material edge to edge so it's even. And again, all I'm do, all I want to do, ah, moved up a little there. All I'm really doing is getting this sewn together so it's one piece. The hardest part with this plastic is because it's so slippery. The little shoes on the bottom that feed this thing don't have a good traction to pull it through. So you almost got to hand feed this along to get it through. So it's, it, it, it's a little cumbersome and a little hard to sew this stuff because it's such a big piece. As we go along, it'll get a little bit easier. But for right now, it's a little funny. All right, let me continue sewing. Like I say, the real secret to this is to move the bag. Don't worry about the sewing so much here, but just to keep the bag moving. Make sure you try to keep the two pieces even. Go along with the bag, and all we're doing is just sewing. To the outer edge of the bag. All right, we got the one length done. The way when you turn the bag, you want the needle all the way down into it. I want to go ahead, get this bag. I actually fold it in half so it's a, a leisure. Spin this around here. Let me show you. I got this. I'm out. I got one half folded over the other half so it isn't sticking out as much. All right, then I'm just going to continue sewing down this end. Again, you gotta get this set up so the bag isn't being caught somewhere. I'm gonna keep the ends together. The ends in. Now, if you wanna put more than just a couple of staples in to hold it, that would even help you hold it together better. I didn't put that many staples, uh, staples in there. But again, all the sewing here is to get the two bags together. All right. No problem. And then there's other points you like to just swear. All right, that's three sides. I'm down to this last end to sew up. I'm going to put a few more staples in here to hold this thing together. And like I said, it won't hurt how many staples you put in there. Because, uh, go wine. Because what it is, is 
we're going to be taking those out and the final stitch is going to be farther in than those staples that you know uh, so don't worry how if, if you want to put staples in every five inches it doesn't make any difference it's more staples you got to take out and the more you put in the easier it'll be to keep the thing together you know lined up again it doesn't have to be that dead lined up it isn't that critical but it, it helps sewing a little bit all right let's continue sewing put it in got this spun at times I and I'm back to where I started take it out all right I'm going to stop now. I'm going to change the needle because I think the needle screwed up a little bent. Let me change that before we start on the rest of this. Oops. Let's start this all over. We got the bag sewn all the way around. That one sew. Next, we're going to take on the long six foot end. We're going to roll the edge over because we want to go a nice professional edge here anyway. Plus two where that zipper is going to go, you want that extra strength right through there. So we're going to roll it over half inch, three quarters of an inch. Again, we're going to pull out all of the staples first, so there's no staples in there. Now we're going to give it a try. Let's give it a try. We're going to go back a distance here and roll this edge and hold that finger to hold that edge over. Now again, I got a problem with the plas plastic sliding and getting caught on here. And not coming along like we wanted to come along, but let's see what happens. On down, pull out the staples. We're gonna go ahead and sew, rolling the edge over. Now, keep in mind, this edge we want to roll over, we want to keep it a roll over on the inside. We're going to call this the inside of the bag. And we did on this outer edge, we rolled the edge under this way, bent it under. We want the flap and all of this stuff underneath to be on the inside of the bag, not the outside. We're trying to make it look a little bit more professional. All right, let's try sewing this. Let's see how we get. Like I say, you, you come down, you lead a little ways down, you fold it over. Get it, crunch it a little bit there, and then sew. The hardest thing is keeping it moving because that plastic sliding. The next problem here was. didn't have originally a bed needle and the needle I put in a second wasn't the right needle. Alright, at this point I have both edges roll over. I don't know well you can see that. The edge is rolled over. You know, all the garbage is, is underneath where you can't see how bad it is. It looks halfway decent. The next what we're gonna do is sew the zipper on. Now, sewing the zipper on. Actually sewing the zipper on works fairly good because what we're gonna have is we're gonna go ahead and have the zipper on the bottom. Of this we're going to flip this over and we're going to let me get the zipper we're going to take the zipper and the first thing we got to do is free the zipper there there's a a clasp on the end of the zipper let me shoot in here and we're going to bend the prongs back and take that out because we want to separate this zipper. It's, it's a lot easier to put on in the two pieces than rather than trying to put it on with the zipper together. So, just a little metal clip. 
take out of there and we'll put it on the side. Other thing we're going to do, as we talked before, is I got these little markings here. Little markings right with the indelible ink that I put here, two on one side and one on the other. So when we go to put the zipper back together again, I can help use that to line up. So this zipper is going to go back in the same exact spot. All right, what we're going to do. Next. I got to sew the zipper onto the bag. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this bag completely over. So the inside of the bag is going to be down. The zippers. And now the way I, the way I have this bag setting right, the bag setting, the roll ledge is underneath here. This is going to be the outer side of it. You know, what's going to be hidden underneath is this extra flap where we flap the material over and we want the top. Now, the zipper. Got the zipper that's up. I'm going to take it here. Got a little flap on the end if you want. What you can do to hold it there. Now keep in mind, we're going to be back. We're going to end up folding this over at the end. So the end of the zipper, the zipper should start right around here, a little bit over, because we're going to be folding these ends over. So you want to hold the zipper back around three inches. I'm going to go ahead. Well, there's, I just use our old stapler and then staple so that holds it. Now, we're going to sew the zipper down here. We're going to make sure that we stay a little bit away. Let's see if I can come in. We're going to stay a little away because keep in mind, the zipper is going to be going through here. And if you got it too tight here, it might catch on this material. So what we want to do, I'm going to hold it maybe just an an eighth of an inch away. All right, we got a stapler to hold the zipper, and now we're just going to sew the zipper on. As you can see, I got this two little, I don't know if you can tell, but there's two little, what I marked it down there. Now, this should actually sew pretty good. And the reason what I sew, say that is we're going to have cloth material on the bottom here. That's going to be, now what feeds the material is two little shoes on the bottom. Well, when we just were on the plastic, it would slide real easy. Now we got material there. It should work a lot easier. Let me, let's see what happens. All right. Again, I got this all lined up to sew. Here, even though this bag's still kind of hard to push through. And I come down to the end of the string. Now we're going to do it all over again. But we don't have to worry now about our spacing because it, it's locked on, keeping it away. All we're going to do here is, is sew it so that we get a couple of rows of string on it to give it some strength. So actually this should be easy. What you want to do this is the part that's somehow going to be a little screwy in that 
the way this is laying we got to go ahead and start from the end of the zipper and work back. So what we're going to do to try to keep the zipper in the same location I'm going to mark the zipper on the end here and how far away on the end it overhangs. All right. Then what I'm going to do? Get the old stapler out again. Staple that zipper. Try to hold it in place. Come up. around the machine. Again, what we want to do is hold this finished edge, give it around an eighth of an inch in between the, uh, this finished end and the teeth on the zipper. Hold it away just so that the slide will, won't be interfere with this here. All right, let's see how this goes. Well, we're going to do 